morning and welcome again to another episode of Down The Line. I am stood here at Vista Village Station and today's journey will take me from here to Oxford. Short little trip and as you can tell from being at Vista Village, I've done, yes, I've been out to the designer outlet. So, you know, there's plenty to see, plenty to do and I've never been to Oxford Station before. Um, so it'll be good to have a little look around. And again, welcome this time to Down The Line. Vista Village has gone through a lot of changes since its original opening in 1850. The station names have had a few variations over the years before finally settling on Vista Village in 2015 in conjunction with the designer outlet just next door. So the 1024 has arrived. Let's get on board. The journey to Oxford follows the old Varsity line, but there are a few reminders of this line on the approach and where we terminate at Oxford. So, that's the short journey to Oxford done, and now it's just to stand here for a while and see what we get. Um, looks on real time trains, it looks like we've got a good mixture um, coming up of passenger and freight so I'm hoping to get a few good shots of that and also let's just explore Oxford Station, see how it looks, the features, everything um, but yeah and then it'll be back to Bicester Village where I can commence my drive back home um, so yeah let's see what Oxford's got Right, let's talk about Oxford, built in 1852 by the Great Western Railway. Um, last year's passenger figures 1.575 million. Um, station that comprises of four platforms and is managed to this day by Great Western Railway. However, as you can tell by my earlier journey, it also has the inclusion of Chilton Railway services. Um, and like I say, to be fair, the services so far have been quite frequent. Um, so and there's plenty to go here. So some of the examples are Didcot Parkway, back to London Marlebone, Reading, um, and places like that. So it's a gateway. It definitely is. And this is one of two stations serving Oxford, which is Oxford Parkway, which is a few miles up the line. Um, however, this is the main one and is the busiest one. Um, so yeah, so far so good. I'm impressed. Come to Oxford. So I've been here for around half an hour now and I have to say I am very, very surprised with the amount of traffic that is going past here. There has been a couple of mixtures of freight, passenger, as you've seen, and I think my luck's in for today, to be honest. There's going to be plenty to do and we plan on going back around half one, two o'clock. So between now and then, well, it's my oyster. Love it. I have to say, I am so thankful for a website like Real Time Trains because without that, I'd be completely lost at where he's coming into where and everything. Um, so I highly recommend it for your train spotting. If you're gonna go out there to any station, you can put in the location um, and it gives you, you know, passenger freight, um, different types of services, um, and you can also split it down between the rail operators. Um, so yeah, so, Indicated for the next sort of 20 minutes, there's a couple of free. Um, currently, um, a GWR service to Great Malvern um, and Platform 4. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you what, this was a very, very good choice coming to Oxford, I have to say. 
highly, highly recommended. Back in 2008, Chiltern Railways announced a plan to construct a 400 metre cord between the Oxford and Bicester line. This allowed for a new Oxford to London Marlebone service. And since then, it has never looked back. So based on today's running services, currently um, GWR are running late um, on everything. Um, I'm going to turn around behind me um, is where most of the services are being kept at a red light. Um, I have no information of why there is a delay. However, Chilton Railway side of things, bang on time. So there's no problem there getting to London Marlebone. Um, so my journey home should be relatively stress free. Um, but yeah, you should never know. Normally within a few hours, you can gets back on track and pardon the pun but still still doing it for a time this station was known as oxford general to distinguish it from the ruley road terminus this however closed in 1951 and transferred its services to this station as it currently stands today It was great to see such a mixture of traffic from the Chiltern Railways, Freight Services and GWR and it definitely gives me a reason to come back in the future. So, and that's a wrap on Oxford. Hope you've enjoyed it, I know I have, um, and now it's on to Chilton Railways, um, back to Bicester Village, so you're going to join me for a bit longer, um, so yeah, let's head back, I've enjoyed it, that's the aim of today and today was a success. So taking me back is 168109, let's hop on board. So, and that brings me back to Vista Village. It's been quite a good day, quite an enjoyable journey. Um, it's lovely going through the Oxfordshire countryside um, and it's been a good day. Chilton's gonna depart and I will see you next time down the line. <laughs>